we're going to do a quick comparison of these lenses. It's the Voidlander Nocton with an aperture of 1.1 and the Leica Sumilox Spherical with an aperture of 1.4. I feel that the Nocton, even though it's bigger, it's easier to hold. Um, I like the ring on it. I feel like it's easier to focus than the Sumilox. Um, that's the thing, that's that. It's my personal opinion on it. This one here, this has a tab, a focusing tab, which helps you um, focus the lens with only one ring and also helps you with sound focusing. So, kind of, you know, each lens has its own strength. It really comes to a personal thing. I mean, do you want a smaller lens? Do you want a better lens in terms of uh, optical quality? But uh, both lenses are, you know, pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the second tab. This is where I was actually comparing the autofocus areas. And if we look at the leaves on this here, it's blurry, of course, but it's pretty smooth. We look at the Voidlander. Look at those lines. Look at those lines here. Looks kind of ugly in a way. When it comes to sharpness, wide open. Um, obviously, the Summerlux is going to be sharper, but not by much. Look at that. It looks pretty sharp. Plenty of detail. You're not really asking for much out of this Voidlander. And this Voidlander, you can buy one used for about six, seven hundred dollars. And the Summerlux, I don't think you're gonna be able to find it for less than two thousand dollars used. Um, so that's that. Okay. Right. Let's move on to the next tab where we're gonna be comparing sharpness again, but this is a 2.8. Voidlander versus the Leica. So what are we looking at? In the emblem here, plenty of detail. Little stars over here, you can see them very clearly. But the sun looks is sharper. And of course, I mean, why would you pay much more if it wasn't? But then we look at the out of focus areas, and they're starting to look pretty close, almost identical. You have some ugly lines here, and you have some kind of a little bit ugly lines here. And then if you continue on to 5.6, the Summerlux is going to be, again, still sharper, but not by much. So, you know, you start to wonder why would you want to spend that extra cash on the Summerlux? Well, I mean, one thing is the lens is just, it's actually smaller. And these are just uh, a few samples. Once you actually start using the lens, you'll see, you're, you're kind of somewhat train your eye to see what the Leica lenses can do versus, you know, any other lens. And you're gonna start seeing what I'm gonna show you in the next tab. Okay. I mean, I already have them labeled, but if I didn't, just imagine if you were looking at these pictures. Try to look at those images without um, judging. Just look at them and what do you see? What's the first thing that comes to your eye or comes to your mind? To me, first thing I see is that the image on the right seems to be sharper, but at the same time, soft. Okay, why? Because if we look at the autofocus areas, look at all those ugly circles and lines. You see that? That comes from typical lenses. When we compare that to the Leica lens, it's just, you know, softer. But softer doesn't mean that it's going to be blurrier as far as this object here. 
so you you have that sharpness but that softness softness on the blur in on the blurry areas anyway that's what you're gonna start to see whenever you shoot with some of the newer Leica lenses so everyone says oh my Fuji or my Nikon can do the same thing that you like I can and yes absolutely in fact the Nikon was probably gonna be much faster at focusing you know those cameras are made for sports and all kinds of things so yeah uh, absolutely but can you get this can you get that softness in your blurry areas mm, that depends are you gonna get it with a regular 50 millimeter lens uh, not really um, now are you gonna get it with the 85 millimeter well yeah you probably will but we're comparing 50 millimeter lenses right now anyway we go on to the last segment of this video and that's gonna be how much light the lens actually gets into the sensor so again wide open the Voilander at 1.1 the Leica at 1.4 and of course you know you will see a third of a stop um, darker on the Leica versus the Voilander. Is that gonna make a difference in your everyday pictures? Not really. Not very likely. But, I mean, hey, it is brighter, so you can't take that away from this lens. Which, like I said, it's, it's a good lens. You can get great images with that. And uh, I like the feel of the lens. It looks very, I mean, it feels very well made. Um, and I mean, it's not super expensive in terms of, you know, comparing it to the Leica glass. So that's about all I have for you guys. If you have any questions, please drop me a line. If you have any recommendations on, you know, videos to come, same thing send me your ideas and i'll try to make videos for you guys um, also please subscribe uh, i will be posting much more content especially like content on youtube if you haven't uh, visit my blog it's uh i'll get you the link there because it's kind of hard to pronounce so i'll link that and i will also put links to where you can buy these lenses if you want to give it a try all right that's going to be all for uh for this segment thank you so much for watching and have a good one